I got accepted at Frank Lloyd Wright School, which was called Taliesin. Before I went for my interview, I was taken up to Taliesin by Bob Kimes. We went up to Taliesin and we took a tour, and I was just flabbergasted. It was so wonderful. And I thought, oh, that's something I should be doing. I should go back and go back to school and be an architect. I talked to someone, they said, oh, sure, we'll make an appointment and uh, maybe you can go see Mr. Wright, see if he'll accept you in the school. I uh, went over there and, and went to the house uh, where I was told Mr. Wright would interview me. Well, I sat there and sat there and no Mr. Wright. Never showed up. So uh, nobody showed up. I just sat there. And, you know, I was having a great time just admiring the building and, and just being there in the space. So about noon I decided, well, this isn't, this isn't working, you know. So I asked somebody, well, uh, where is Mr. Wright, you know? Oh, he went for a drive. Oh, he'll be back in the drafting room about one o'clock. So I thought, oh, okay. So the house is about a half a mile away from the drafting room. So I walked over to the drafting room. And I decided, well, I'll just sit around there and, and wait for Mr. Wright and kind of ambush him the minute he walks in the door. So sure enough, about 1.30, Mr. Wright arrived, and, you know, he comes in, and, and he was checking his drawings and going around. And I went over to him, and I said, Mr. Wright, I had an appointment to see you this morning, and I would like to be accepted in the school. And so he asked me a few questions. He said, oh, sit down. And we sat over in the corner and had a little chat. And um, I told him my background and told him that I was a nephew of Adolf Loos. And uh, he was kind of taken aback for a minute because he knew about Adolf Loos because he was very famous in Europe. Sure enough, um, I sent in my application. And that winter, I got the acceptance. And I went to school the following spring and started Taliesin. And it's really one of the most wonderful experiences that anybody could have. They had you doing everything. You were building things and you were out in the drafting room, you were assigned to that, you were assigned to the kitchen and assigned to the garden. And there were about 60 people there and everybody participated in the entire operation of Taliesin. Uh, I decided, well, I'm going to design my lodge that I wanted to build here in Aspen. And I did a presentation of the lodge. So I showed where the lodge was going to be. They really liked it. And they, they uh, made very good comments about how they liked the lodge and so on. So I thought, well, I was really encouraged to, to finish this job and, and to, uh, to actually build it.